What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the best cornerbacks currently in Mutt 24 for every single budget. This is going to be your update for the month of April. A lot of times when I'm live streaming over on Twitch or even on Twitter, people will reach out and say, Pop, I got 400k. Who's the best cornerback to pick up? That's what we're doing in this video. I got you covered. And over the month of April, we'll be covering a bunch of other positional groups. Down below in the comment section, let me know what positional group you want me to cover next in the next episode of this series let's go ahead and jump on into it we're going to start with the best free options at cornerback and i got two of them the first one is going to be the free agent promo kendall fuller this is a welcome pack card so when you logged in you should have received a lower overall version of this card and you need three tokens to upgrade him this card gets any of the 32 nfl team comes two of the tokens are in the free agency field pass the third one is in the free agency solos and you could potentially get this card up to 99 speed pretty easily man coverage zone coverage pretty solid on it as well he is only five foot eleven i think with the flat zone ko being zero ap on this card he's the perfect slot receiver that plus the fact that he's not very tall but this is a really good card to blitz off the edge as well solid free option the other best option is going to be season five patrick peterson now you have to fully max out the season five field pass to get him up to a 97 overall and i don't think anybody's there just yet but people will probably be getting there pretty close pretty soon this card pretty good at the 97 overall rating now he's going to feel a little outdated at this point because there's so many 98s and 99s out there but keep in mind this card gets deep out zone ko for zero ap that's one of the best abilities in the game for free unfortunately you still have to pay one ap for either mid zone or pick artists on this card but he's definitely a great zone coverage cornerback and if you're no money spent or you don't have a lot of coins to spend on this position that's a good free option for you the best cornerback under a hundred thousand coins is going to be Super Bowl Herb Adderley I think he's better off suited for a zone coverage scheme because of his abilities but he can play good man coverage as well six foot one 96 speed 95 man 95 zone 94 press if you're still out there rocking a Super Bowl theme team which is extremely inexpensive to build right now because all of these cards are you know obviously old and 95 overalls you could potentially get this card up to plus three speed which makes him even better he's a hundred thousand coins on the dot two different options you could go with with abilities and this is why i say he's better suited for a zone scheme you go pick artist plus deep zone ko unfortunately it's going to cost you a total of two ap and then your other option and i think he's going to be good for a slot defender at this point in the year is going pick artist plus either flat zone ko or mid zone ko for a total of one ap i got two options for you on the best cornerbacks under 200,000 coins the first one is going to be combine drc 96 overall card six foot two 97 speed 97 man 95 zone only 88 press but he has an X factor being a combine card that can basically eliminate that bad press rating. So this is a really good card if you run primarily a man coverage scheme. He goes for about 172,000 coins. You can get the X factor one step ahead, which is going to be zero AP. It's probably the best man coverage ability in the game, but it's treated as an X factor on this card. For the ability itself on some of the other cards like Joey Porter Jr., it's three AP at a discount. So this card is really powerful because he gets it's the one step ahead for zero AP. It starts off, but nine plays into the game. It turns on and stays on for the remainder of the game. I was able to leave him on an island with no safety help over the top a ton of times with that X factor turned on. And you add that in with deep route KO, which is going to be one AP and then pick artist for zero AP. You're basically getting three abilities on this card for a total of one AP. That's why he's the perfect man coverage cornerback in the game right now. And if you run more so zone, you got weekly wildcard Patrick's but he's going to be better suited as a slot defender because of his zero AP abilities. So this card, six foot two, 96 speed, 97 zone, 90, sorry, 93 zone, 97 man, 99 press coverage. But the reason that he's going to be better as a slot is because he's going to get pick artists for zero AP. And then you get flat zone KO for zero AP as well in two separate buckets. So you can combine them together. And on average, he goes for about 160,000 coins. Moving on to our best cornerbacks under 300 K. We got another Patrick Sertain card. So this one is his team of the year card. Six foot two with 97 speed, 98 man, 94 zone, 99 press again. This card is better suited as an outside cornerback 
Again, because of his abilities, he's going to go for right now on average about 260,000 coins. That seems to be where most of the 97 overall team of the year cards are priced at right now. He will give you the ability to go either deep route KO if you're a man coverage runner or deep zone KO if you're a zone coverage runner for one AP and then you get pick artists in a separate bucket for zero AP. So it's only one AP to get two abilities. And again, he's going to fit both types of schemes, man or zone. You just pick it deep out zone or deep route KO depending on what you run if you need a slot defender and you want to go a little bit above that weekly wild card patrick certain card you got team of the year sauce gardener you would think six foot three 98 speed he's going to be great on the outside and maybe he is but he's definitely better suited as a slot defender again because of the abilities on average he's going for about 275k and you can go pick artists for zero ap and then your choice of either mid zone ko or flat zone ko also for zero AP, you can combine those together. For me, I have flat zone KO and pick artists on him, and he's been my slot defender since the day this card came out, and he's still out there making plays for me right now. Two more options for the best cornerbacks under 300,000 coins. There are just so many really good choices out there right now, and they're all inexpensive. This one is going to be AKA Peanut Tillman, six foot two with 97 speed, 97 zone, 95 man, and 99 press. You can play him on the outside or as a slot. It really depends on what you're trying to upgrade on your team if you're going to play him on the outside and by the way he's about 300k on the dot on the outside he's going to get deep out zone ko plus pick artist for a total of one ap so if you play a man coverage scheme you might want to stay away from this one and if you need a slot defender he's going to get pick artist and then your choice of flat zone ko or mid zone ko similar to the sauce gardener card we just talked about uh, and that's going to be zero ap total so if you run a dollar scheme and you need two slot cornerbacks sauce and tillman could both get you basically four abilities in total for zero AP altogether. That's really, really good. And then the final one, I'm cheating on our budget just a little bit. It's going to be Sugar Rush Marshawn Lattimore. He's on average about 312,000 coins amazing price for this card i use them on my team right now six foot even 98 stock speed and there is a sugar rush strategy item out there that gives you plus two speed so this card easily can get up to 99 speed 96 man 95 zone 99 press i run them in a man covered scheme so i use deep route ko plus pick artists for a total of one ap but if you run a zone covered scheme you can go deep zone ko plus pick artists and it's still going to be a total of one ap just a lot of versatility on those abilities and obviously the attributes on this card are really really good now we end the video with the best cornerbacks in the game and i got five of them on the list i know it's kind of heavy there the first one is jalen johnson i just want to show you this card and say it's not worth the coin if you're a bears fan i get it but it's over a million coins there's just better options or equal options out there that are going to be far less coins. And one of them is going to be the LTD Brian Branch from the egg promo or the Sugar Rush promo as an LTD egg. Now, I hate the 77 press on this card, so I would not put him as an outside corner, but that's just me. I think you can use him as a safety if you want or play him as a slot cornerback. 99 stock speed, 98 man, 96 zone coverage, 99 jumping as well, 98 excel, but he can blitz as a slot corner with the acceleration and the speed and then his abilities are going to sue a slot corner as well if you're going to play him on the outside you can go deep zone ko and pick artists it's going to be a total of one ap but again you just absolutely should not press this guard by any means if you play him in the slot he's going to give you pick artists and then your choice of flat zone ko or mid zone ko and that would cost you a total of one ap and on average right now 457k being that he's an ltd he'll quick sell for 350 so you're almost looking at about 100k rental if you want to try out this card if you run a lot of man coverage ltd joey porter jr is going to be your guy six foot two 98 stock speed 99 man 97 zone 92 press his abilities and he goes for 700,000 coins by the way his ability set up the best route to go is deep route ko plus pick artist for one ap he doesn't really get many good zone coverage abilities so i would stay away from him if you run a zone scheme and if you run a zone scheme you should be using Tariq woolen this is the redux card he did have a combine ltd and if you reach level 36 in the season 5 field pass and you have all four of your season 5 set tokens you can redeem them for this card this card's included in a 97 overall fantasy pack on average if you're going to go out and buy the card it's about 870k so the fact that you can get this one for free is huge six foot four 98 speed 98 man 98 zone 97 press i used him in my man coverage scheme for a little while 
but he's definitely better for better better suited for zone because he's going to give you that deep zone knockout. That's deep in zone KO and deep out zone KO all together. You're going to get that for one AP plus pick artist for zero AP. Really, really good. And then I think one of the most versatile cards in the game at cornerback is going to be Deion Sanders. We had to include him in here. Card just came out this past weekend. He's only 498K, which is really good considering he's got the 98 speed, six foot even, gives you return man as a stock zero AP ability. So if you want to place him as your kick returner from now until the end of the year, not a bad idea at all. He also gives you 98 man coverage, 98 zone, and 94 press. And the ability setups are, there's three different routes you can go. So if you run a lot of man coverage, deep route KO plus pick artist for one AP. If you run a lot of zone coverage, deep zone KO, plus pick artist one ap and that would be playing him on the outside if you want to play him as a slot defender blitzing him off the edge with the 98 speed and acceleration he's also going to give you mid zone ko plus pick artist for a total of zero ap and there you have it those are the best cornerbacks in the game right now at every single budget which cards did we leave off the list who are you guys using at cornerback who did i snub let me know down below in the comment section and thank you for watching my name is popular stranger i'm out peace